What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Squill Entertainment Gaming Channel. Alright, so this episode we'll be playing a game called Sultan Forces. It's an unreleased game, but we're going to go ahead and get our fingers rubbed up into it. See what this one's all about. Now this one was made by 1MT, so you guys know that I am a fan of 1MT games. So we're going to definitely play every last one of theirs that they do make. Alright, so let's see what we have here. They are always good on graphics. That's for sure. Alibaba. Alright, so it has a nice little hero fighting system. This is pretty cool. It's different. Man, they, these guys never cease to amaze me.
why not try out the new hero equipment? Let's try it out. Let's see what we have. What is this all about? All right, Alibaba has already amassed the required equipment. You can now upgrade his class. Upgrading a hero's class will increase their power and the number of troops they can lead. It can also lead to heroes gaining new skills. Class one. All right, I must thank you for helping me increase my strength. Let us continue in our quest to send our enemies cowering to the descent corners of the world. All right. All right, more and more people are taking up residence in the city as soon as as soon as we begin to run the grain. For this reason I implore you to build more farms. All right, so let's get some farms built up in here. Let's go. All right, so farms, lumber camp, marching tent, and field hospitals. All right, and the life city is returning to normal, but the outsiders still circle like vultures. All right, so we can upgrade the farm to level two. Let's go ahead and get that one going too. Let's upgrade, it's always free. All right, so we can do another five minute one. So let's go ahead and do that and it'll become free once we get that completed. All right, we discovered a no, another area of fertile land in the hands of the outsiders. The leader Sadan, the ghoul, is said to be a terrifying sight. I'm not gonna read all that stuff. Of course not. Why would I? All right, so our farm is about to be come free. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the, uh, I can hit free button there. Nope, won't let me do it. Didn't think it would. All right, so we got more power, we got more stuff. And what do we have on the side here? We got some different stuff. We got building queue idle, building queue not unlocked, academy not built, civ tech idle. Oh. Let's upgrade this fortress. Maybe not. Let's get the wall. I like how it does that. All right, so the fortress is our main building. Let's see what we can do here in our, our stuff. Ah, I don't want to go there. <clears throat> Let's see here, guys. Let's bring this back in there. Let's see, join an alliance. Activate a fort at fortress level 22. Join an alliance, we can do that. Dispatch is idle. Let's go ahead and see. Let's send one dispatch out there. Let's see what the map looks like for real. <clears throat> And so far, so good. I can never say anything bad about 1MT games. These games are good. Except for the loading time. Good lord. Let's take forever. We'll be right back. All right. So this is Wars the Perilous indeed. Here we can collect resources, attack outsiders, and slay demons. All right. Tap the search resource tiles outside demons. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, which can occupy resource tiles and receive bountiful. I spelled that wrong. So it's boo on to full resources. All right, so let's go ahead and get this correct before the game comes out. Outsiders, Superior Frost, and Silver Ghoul. All right, so we got those. So what is next? <clears throat> and search for these outsiders. All right, threat from outsiders is ever present. present. Destroying them not only offers protection for your people or well, to your people, but XP and fantastic rewards as well. All right, so we don't have death warrants. That's weird. We don't we have to have death warrants. Where do we get death warrants? Uh, claim daily quest activity chest. I guess we can't attack that guy. No death warrants. That's weird. Let's see what the system's giving us here. All right. Novice migration. These two have been sent directly to your bag. Let's go ahead and read all, but we want to make sure we can collect all though. Alright, so I think there's a death warrant inside there. Let's go ahead and claim this stuff up. That's kind of strange. That's gonna be that's a turnoff right there. You can't even attack monsters. <clears throat> let's go, let's get this guy. Still, no death warrants. Jeez. 
I guess we're just not going to be able to attack this guy. Alright, so it looks like we have three heroes. We have Zat al Dwali, Alibaba, and Dunya Zai. Wow, that's pretty cool. Alright, let's go ahead and summon this one. Pretty bad, man. Get new heroes. Let's see, hero advantage knowledge. Hero. Whoop. Whoop. Well, I guess we could do the quality. It's almost like we were playing the game, but we were not. All right, so it's going to take us 30 minutes to get this one upgraded, uh, the hero quality anyway, and then we can go from there. All right, so we're going to use the Quince Branch, which is going to give us more strength, agility, and intelligence. So let's go ahead and get that one going. We got it on both sides, so that's good there. <clears throat> it's funny we get notifications in the game while well, we're in the game. That's weird. <clears throat> All right, so we don't have any death warrants, so we can't attack this guy. So what is the point? All right, so tap on the item, check the information. No death warrants, of course. Of course. All right, so this is shaping up to be a pretty decent game. Um, as far as graphics, it's always top notch. Never any issues there. Couple issues I have with the gameplay, but it's nothing major or anything like that. This can definitely be tweaked up over time. Um, as far as like repeat replayability, as long as you can have a good community and there's people that are actually playing the game, then there's no issues or anything like that. All right, so I definitely have no issues with it so far. But so far, it looks like it's shaping up to be a really good game. Definitely worth trying out. I wouldn't. Um, <clears throat> not sure I would put this on the rotation yet, but yeah, for sure, definitely would put this on the. Uh, on the wish list for sure anyway guys like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you next time peace